All right, Nerdlaws Live, coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Tuesday afternoon. It's 2.18. It's March 19, 2019. All right, I love when articles bring up the fact that Obama is not who, who he says he is. Barack Hussein Obama is not who he says he is. <laughs> or was. <laughs> Here's one from Malik Obama. I'm reading from World Net Daily. I love this subject. Why? Because I always want to bring light in the dark places. I know who Barack Hussein Obama is. Do you? Yeah. I found out in 2008. I found out in September of 2008 that Barack Hussein Obama was the Antichrist. Watch my videos on that. Go to my website, DarylLawsonLive.com. And check out all my videos. Or just type anywhere. Daryl Lawson YouTube videos, uh, uh, Antichrist. Barack Obama, Antichrist. Anything like that. I have lots and lots of videos. Actually, I have over 3,000 videos of all different subjects. But my favorite, or one of my favorites, is, is exposing the Antichrist. Why? Uh, and reminding people of the, who the Antichrist really is, because that's a big piece of the end time puzzle. Yeah, if you want to know what days we're living in and how close we are to the, re to the return of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, you have to know that Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist. All right, here's one from World Net Daily. I'll give you a few scriptures here in a moment. Uh, here's one from World Net Daily, five, I think five days ago. Let me see. Uh, this came out, well, it says a day ago. Uh, well, let's just take that, right? <laughs> One day ago. Oh, yeah, no, this came out a day ago. But the the tweet from, from Barack Obama's half-brother, Malik Obama, that came out five days ago. So there was a tweet on Twitter at Malik Obama, uh, March 14th, 2019, at 11.48 a.m. How, uh, how uh, specific is that? And... Barack Hussein Obama's brother, half-brother, said, Is Michelle really Michael? Is Michelle Obama really Michael Obama? Why would he say that? Hello? <laughs> do you agree with Malik? Yes, I do. There is no other reason Malik Obama would come out and say that. Why? He's going to get any points with Barack? No. Is he going to get uh, any points with... Uh, the fake news? No. Is, are people going to rail against him? Sure. Are people going to think he's nuts? Uh-huh. So there's no benefit for Malik Obama, half-brother to Barack Obama, coming out and questioning the gender of Michelle Obama, Barack Obama's wife. He said, 11.48 a.m., March 14th, five days ago as of right now, 2019, is Michelle Michael. Oh, why? When I saw this, I thought, I got to do another video on this. Yeah. Just a short video to remind people who Obama is. Do you think Barack Obama would marry the perfect woman? Do you think the Antichrist would marry a biblical uh, uh, person? Do you think that the Antichrist would do anything biblical? Do you think the Antichrist would marry the perfect, wholesome woman? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Actually, here's the scripture I pulled up from Daniel chapter 11 in the Bible. Uh, verse 37, Daniel 11, 37. It says, neither, it's talking about the Antichrist here. This is Old Testament pointing to Barack Obama. Neither shall he, Obama, Barack Obama, regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women. Barack Obama doesn't really like women. Nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself. Well, that's so true. Above all. 1 John 2, 18, little children, it's the last time. And as you have heard, that or the Antichrist shall come. The Antichrist, that Antichrist shall come. <laughs> this is the Apostle John writing this 2,000 years ago for our generation. He said, that Antichrist shall come. <laughs> and guess what? He's here. And then he said, uh, Apostle John said about his time 2,000 years ago, even now there are many Antichrist people, Antichrist, whereby we know that is the last time. So as you get closer to the end, scriptures are being fulfilled, depending on what time of uh, the last 6,000 years era you're, you're living in, right? The time of, of Noah, all right, the flood's coming, there were signs of that time. The coming of the Messiah 2,000 years ago, there were signs about that, all right, et cetera, et cetera. Uh... 
well, 2,000 years ago, signs of Jesus uh, being born in Bethlehem and the star and all this, yeah. And just like there were signs and wonders for the last 6,000 years fulfilling Bible uh, verses and Bible prophecy, so there are signs and wonders today if we pay attention. Yeah, I mean, I think we got it easier than past generations because we have the internet. We can bypass the fake news. We can bypass uh, the fake media, the fake religions, the fake politics, and we can find out the answers for ourselves. Yeah. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Yeah. Oh, uh, as you heard, that Antichrist shall come. All right, that's why I love talking about the subject, because the Bible talks about this all the time. All right, Barack Obama's brother asks if Michelle is Michael. They say it revives the conspiracy theory. <laughs> it's not a theory about former first lady's gender. I always say Joan Rivers was killed. Joan Rivers was killed for outing Barack Obama and Michelle Obama as a tranny. Joan Rivers, the comedian, who died, I believe, as a result of outing Obama. He, she said that Obama's gay and, and uh, Michelle Obama is a transgender. Malik Obama, half-brother to Barack Obama. Let's see who Malik is. Ma, if you look up Mal, uh, Malik Obama, M-A-L-I-K, it says he was born in 1958. He's 61 years old. He was born in Kenya, Kenya, Nairobi. Uh, he's married. He was married back in 2010. They married nine years to Sheila and Nyango. All right, siblings Mark, Okaf Obama, Nisanjo, Barack Obama, right? He's his half brother. He's written some books. Uh, and he's Kenyan. All right, and I bring that up because Barack Obama was born in Kenya. Barack Obama, the former U.S. president, was born in Kenya. It wasn't called Kenya in 1961. It was called the East. Uh, it was called the. Let me see. The British Protectorate, British Protectorate of East Africa. British. Yeah. Why? Because Kenya didn't get its independence yet. When, at the time of Barack Obama's birth. And why would? Why would the New World Order have Obama born in Kenya, or the British Protectorate of East Africa? Why? When. The real daddy, the real daddy, they say, of Barack Obama is Frank Marshall Davis and Stanley and Dunham. I'm a white mama and a communist father, not Barack Obama Sr. Why would they go to the, to the trouble of having Obama, Barack Obama, born in Kenya or the place that was going to be known as Kenya? I think it was uh, British Protective East Africa and it was the location was like Lake uh, Victoria area, they call it. Yeah. Why would they go? Why would the New World Order go to the trouble of having Barack Obama be born in the Kenyan area when they could have had him born in the U.S., being that his mother was American and his true father, Frank Marshall Davis, was also American. Why not, next, why not just have him born in America? Because the New World Order is about numerology. They wanted Barack Obama to be born uh, with similar GPS coordinates as Jesus. If you look up the GPS coordinates of Jesus' Bethlehem birth uh, and the GPS coordinates of uh, Lake, Victoria, Lake Victoria, Kenya area, it's got the same numbers, but the decimal points are different. So they wanted to mirror the numbers of Jesus' birth with Barack Obama's birth because he's the anti-Christ. And so they had to uh, mirror, copycat Jesus' birth. Now... They couldn't take him, in, uh, and, and I don't think it would have been easy to have him born in Bethlehem. <laughs> you know, maybe. <laughs> but somehow they got the GPS coordinates for uh, Victoria, the Lake Victoria area in the British Protectorate of East Africa. Yeah. Don't ask me what they were thinking. They always try to copycat. I mean, the, they take, the, the New World Order took the triangle, the equilateral triangle, as their symbol of the New World Order. But that's the symbol uh, of the Trinity, of the Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and the, and the, tri the equilateral triangle is also the symbol of the, of the New Jerusalem. Yeah, so they do these things. All right, so let me, let me just read this up. It's not a long article, but it's a very interesting article. Uh, Malik Obama, a half-brother to Barack Obama, has, has been known to throw verbal bombs. <laughs> yeah. 
Here, here, he's at it again. Why would he do this? Why would he do this? This time he's wondering about Michelle Obama, Barack's wife. Like I said, here's the Twitter feed uh, and tweet. Is Michelle Michael, March 14, 2019, Malik Obama, who once posted an image uh, purporting to show a Kenyan birth certificate for his brother, now has, has been asking, is Michelle Michael? Sure. Uh, Malik Obama has also fought the beast before by bringing up the fake birth certificate, Barack Obama's fake birth certificate, and showing the real British protectorate of East African Obama birth certificate. Yeah. So now he's asking, is Michelle Michael? The American Mirror blog said it recalled the conspiracy theory that, that the former first lady is a man. <laughs> you know, a lot of, you, know, you see these people that transgender, trans, transgender, transform, transcend, trans, well, whatever. They have the transgender reassignment from men to women. Some of the 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 men uh, that turn into physically women looking look look like into women because I don't believe you can change from a man to to a woman because your uh, chromosomes will will always be the same. You can pretend a man can pretend to be a woman, or a woman can can uh, pr pretend to be a man, but they're still who they were assigned at birth by God. Doesn't mean I don't love transgender people. I just don't agree with their anti-biblical behavior. Yeah. And uh, like, I, like I was saying, I mean, you can have these men that transition into women. They're look, looking like women. And, man, they even look more like women than women. <laughs> but they're still men. <laughs> just because you can look like a female doesn't mean you're a female. You can dress yourself up, up like a lizard doesn't mean you're a lizard. Others have made uh, allegations as well. Uh, it says, since the early days of the Obama administration, citizens across the board have studied videos and photos of Michelle Obama and said she is a man. Well, yeah, she she has even the male uh, genitalia of a man in these photos. You can just look it up online. Through her, uh, through her, her, her clothes... When Michelle Obama comes off the plane or she's on stage, she has male genitalia. <laughs> the subject, I mentioned this earlier, also drew comment from the late the late bye-bye Joan Rivers. On the YouTube page where her video has the comment, people claim she was joking, but you can clearly tell that she was dead serious. She doesn't show any signs of sarcasm. Well, that's when Joan Rivers says everybody knows Obama's gay and, and Michelle's a, a transgender or trans or, or a tranny. And and about what was it three or four weeks later she was dead. Joan Rivers was dead. Art, uh, article says uh, from comments under the videos of Joan Rivers talking about Obama and Michelle says that Joan was awesome because she spilled the beans and they killed her for it. They say Rivers died from complications of elective surgery a few weeks after making the comment. Oh, surprise, surprise. Malik Obama has his own reputation for stirring trouble. Reported the American Mirror in 2017, Malik Obama tweeted an image of what appears to be Barack Obama's birth certificate from Kenya, or the British Protectorate of East Africa. Except it's not from Hawaii, it's from Kenya, or Mombas, British Protectorate of, Ke of Kenya. Mombas, Mombasa, I think it is, M-O-M-B-A, looks like S-S-A, if I can read it correctly, British Protectorate of Kenya. Some of the areas also known as British Protectorate of East Africa, whatever. That's why, that's why when you read uh, Revelation 13, it talks about the different parts of Barack Obama, the Antichrist, and his background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The feet of a bear. Well, that's that's uh, Obama's training as a communist from the for, former Soviet Union. Oh, yeah, go look at it. Go look at it. And also, Revelation 13 talks about his, uh, Barack Obama's uh, British citizenship. Yeah. Revelation 13, one. And two, I'm not going to read all of this. Uh, 
It's very, very interesting, I say. Look at verse 2. And the beast, this is Obama, the Antichrist, was like a leopard, a Kenyan leopard, African, and his feet, the feet of a bear. That's the Russian influence of communism in his life. He was trained in communism. His mouth was the mouth of a lion. This line represents the British Empire. Uh, Barack Obama has British citizenship, which, which fulfills the scriptures of the Antichrist coming out of the old Roman Empire. From books like Daniel, etc. Et oh, yeah. The last empire would be uh, a, uh, a reform, uh, reformed, I should say, uh, a renewed Br uh, Roman Empire. From the book of Daniel, yeah. The feet are connected to the Roman Empire. So the last government before Jesus' return would be Barack Obama's government. Him and Pope Francis. Two feet, not one. Yeah, all right. Uh, Antichrist and the false prophet. Two. That's not, there's, not, there's not one feet or foot. <laughs> there's two. Barack Obama is one stinky foot, and Pope Francis is the, is the other stinky foot. But they're connected to the Roman Empire and the book of Daniel. Okay. The mouth of a lion, that's his British citizenship. But don't forget the dragon, a.k.a. the devil, following angel Lucifer, gives him his power, his seat and great authority. He never won it. He was given a the elections. Yeah, sure. He was given his uh, senator seat. He was given fake uh, pass. Uh, well, I was going to say fake uh, passports, but he destroyed his passports. Barack Obama's passports have been destroyed. Yeah, he's got. Uh, Barack Obama has several different social security numbers. Yeah, and the one he has right now is from. It's, it's not even his. Go look it up. Who has that? That's that mean. Well, that's not too uh, odd if you work for the CIA. Obama has worked and still works for the CIA. He's a CIA asset. His parents worked, grandparents. Well, Obama, Michelle, his parents for sure work for the CIA. And his grandparents communist. His parents communist, and he's a communist. Yeah. The dragon gave him his power. Yeah, his seat and great authority. Why? So the dragon knows he has a short time and he's got to set up and finalize the new world order. Because Jesus Christ is coming back and this is his last shot. This is, this, this is the fallen angel Lucifer's last shot to set up a world government to try to stop Jesus' return. Suckers. Malik Obama tweeted an image of what appears to be Brock Bur uh, Brock's birth certificate. Except it's not from Hawaii, but rather Kenya! Coast Province General Hospital... Uh, Mombasa, it looks like. British Protected of Kenya, Certificate of Birth. Certificate number 32018. Barack Hussein Obama II. And that's his birth. child bearing the name Barack Hussein Obama II. Even though Barack Hussein Obama, the first or senior, was actually really not his father. Sex male. Uh, full name of mother, Stanley Ann Dunham. Oh, Stanley Ann Obama. Maiden name, Dunham. Date of birth of the mama, 11-29-42. The full name of the father. This is how they pulled it off. Barack Hussein Obama. Date of birth of the father. They only have 1936. <laughs> That's what happens when you're for the CIA. <laughs> now, Barack Hussein Obama the second On this day, 4th day of August, 1961, 7.24 p.m. The Antichrist was born. In uh, the Coast Province General Hospital of Mombasa, British Protected of Kenya. Fourth day of August, 1961, 7.24 p.m. This was before Kenya got its independence. The Antichrist was seven pounds, one ounce. <laughs> Maybe he, he should have been six pounds, 6.6 .6 ounces. Or six, six point six six six. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so the Antichrist was born, uh, seven pounds, one ounce. 18 inches long. Six inches width between shoulders. <laughs> uh, residence of mother, Honolulu, Hawaii at the time. Place of birth of mother, Wichita, Kansas, the U.S. You're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy, the wicked witch of these. You know, by the way, Stanley Ann Dunham was a real witch. I'm talking about a real practicing witch. Stanley Ann Dunham used to bring Barack Hussein Obama. Two witches' covens growing up like church. Yeah. 
Look it up. Birthplace of father. Kenyang Ying Village. Uh, what is it? Uh, Binanza? Whatever. Somewhere in Africa. Occupation of father, student. Occupation of mother, student. How convenient. CIA assets. Name of attending, Dr. James O. W. Anga, Ang, Angwa. Angawa. Whatever. Signature of the doctor. Mm -mm 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 -mm. His signature, the date he signed it. Supervisor. Superior of, uh, of obstetrics, I think it is. John Kalemi Ondongo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. So back in uh, 2017, Malik also brought up Obama's birth certificate, Barack Obama's birth certificate, birth certificate from Kenya or Africa. He says, Surely, what is this? <laughs> And of course, Obama's White House in 2011 released an image of a of an Hawaiian birth certificate to show he meets the constitutional requirement that the president to be a natural born citizen, which is total bull, because the uh, image of the beast, the birth certificate from the beast, Obama that he put out in 2011, was a forgery. It was actually uh, computer generated. It wasn't typewritten, which would have been typewritten in 1961. The information on it is wrong. And there's so many different levels. It, it was a, a photoshopped image. Yeah, very easily for people to pull the layers out and away, proving that Obama's so-called birth certificate that he released on the government uh, website in 2011 was a photoshop forgery. Oh yeah, very easy. Yeah, very, very, very easy. Even, I think, they, the race of the father, they say African. Back then, uh, they, I think they used the word neg Negro. There were just so many inconsistencies. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Anyways, I, I think it's amazing. And like I said, there is many, many verses. I only brought out two from Daniel 11, 37, 1 John 2, 18. But you can just go, you know. And, and pull up the Antichrist scriptures. And you can see that Obama is fulfilling... Uh, the majority of them, right now. <laughs> he was supposed to come into power, get kicked out of power. That was the uh, deadly wound was healed. Uh, and he will come back into power. Get, come into power, get kicked out of power. Come into power, get kicked out of power, come back into power. The deadly wound will be healed. So he will definitely be hindered uh, in the last days, until he really f has a heyday when the next rapture happens. When the next rapture happens, when Jesus Christ comes back and takes his people to a banquet to heaven, that's called the next rapture. I call it the next rapture because there's been many raptures in the past, and there'll be uh, uh, a few more in the future. Enoch was raptured. Elijah was raptured. Uh, you could say Jesus was raptured uh, after he rose from the dead. Uh, the people at Jesus' uh, old saints that came out of the graves during the uh, resurrection of Jesus, they also were raptured. Uh, Jesus, I said, was raptured. And now uh, you could say that uh, maybe even the Apostle Paul, you could say, was raptured. Because he says, I knew somebody that went to the third heaven and came back. So raptured means that you go spirit, soul, and body to heaven. But you can also come back. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's very interesting. Uh, then the next great rapture, when the majority, the biggest rapture in history will happen in the near future. Nobody knows the day or hour. When the born-again, spirit-filled people on the earth will go to a banquet in heaven, the Lamb's Supper. And then they'll return at the Battle of Armageddon where the Antichrist and the false prophet will be destroyed by Jesus, by Jesus' return to the earth. Oh, I love it. And by the way, Barack Hussein, Hussein Obama is the Antichrist and Pope Francis is, Pope Francis, the first Jesuit, is the, uh, the false prophet. Yeah, he's the false prophet. Obama is the Antichrist. Pope, Pope Francis is the false prophet, yeah. Barack Obama, Antichrist, the Antichrist. Barack Obama, the Antichrist. Pope Francis, the false prophet. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, one of my favorite chapters in the Bible is Revelation 13. Yeah. Uh, Revelation 13, verses 1 to... Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verses 1 to 10 talks about Obama. And then Revelation 13, verses 11 
to 18 talks about Pope Francis in the same chapter. So pardon me if, if, I, if I get excited when I see Barack Obama's half-brother, right, Malik, who was born in Kenya, questions Obama's uh, fake birth certificates and his wife on her gender. He said it. Why would he say it? <laughs> Why would he bring it up? The half-brother. Some people have consciences. Some people can't just sit by and let everybody lie with the fake news. If you are Malik Obama and you are a half-brother to the Antichrist, <laughs> half-brother to the Antichrist, I think you're going to get convicted every once in a while to, to stand up and say something. And I, I like to, every time I see articles like this, because I remind people that we are so close to the, to the return of Jesus Christ the Messiah. And then if you're not ready, get ready. Get born again. Get spirit-filled. Jesus, wash my sins away. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Get in the Bible then after that and read it and do it. Yeah, go forward. And then watch my videos. DarylLawsonLive.com, DarylLawson.com. Get the links. Go forward. Archived on uh, thousands of videos that I have on YouTube. Thousands of videos I have. Different videos on top of that on Facebook. Articles after articles, information. Oh yeah, DarylLawsonLive.com, DarylLawson.com, to help people. Because I, I don't want to see, I, I don't want to see people get destroyed. I want people to understand what's going on day after day. Remind people. And when I see articles like this, I say it's time to be reminded. You gotta remind people. Who cares about LeBron James and the Lakers <laughs> losing anyways? <laughs> Who cares that, uh, what's that, uh, I thought there was a big contract between, uh, is it Mike Trout and uh, the Angels uh, baseball player and the Angels, I think he signed, it was a 12-year contract for what, $430 million for hitting a little ball around the field. $430 million, what are you, nuts? <laughs> I mean, good for him, but seriously, wow, yeah. You know, Jesus Christ is retur returning very, very soon. And all this stuff is about to disappear. All, everything's about to change. The only thing that's going to really matter is your relationship with Jesus Christ, the Messiah, and what you do for him before you leave. Yeah, that's all that really matters, my friend. It's not the car you drive, the place you live at, the place you live in, the clothes, you know, how beautiful or not non-beautiful you are, whatever. That's, you know, how talented you are, whatever. What? University, Ivy League, college you go to. <laughs> Isn't that a joke? Yeah. It's only going to matter what you are with Jesus and what you do for Jesus in these last days. Yeah. So get born again, get spirit filled. Stay born again, stay spirit filled. Okay, I'm out of here. Pass the video to other people. I'll probably just take a quick break here and do some more videos. Daryl Lawson Live.com. Daryl Lawson.com, uh, like I said, has all links, information 24 7, even Bible blog verses of the day. Take a look at that on my website and then pass it on to other people. Do yourself a favor and help other people to finish the race. Finish the line. Yeah, I got a marathon this Sunday. <laughs> the big LA marathon. Yeah, I do it every year. But we run a bigger and a better race. It's called uh, the race of faith, right? And uh, the human race. And we want to stay faithful. He, she that endures to the end shall be saved. We are saved. We're being saved, and we shall be saved. Oh, watch my videos, understand this, and pass it on. DarylLawsonLive.com, thanks for your prayers and financial support. I'll see you later. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.